You know, if you want to be dope at breaking, you gotta get sick sometimes and still break because that's what the real people do. Okay, with that being said, today we're gonna go over the top five ways to stylize a top rock. Number one, weight transfers, bah. Weight transfers is super important when you're doing top rock. So, what you're gonna do is we're gonna take the four base steps two step front, two step back, side step, crossover step. And that's it. I'm gonna give you guys examples side by side of how they look basic and how they look stylized. So, without weight transferring, two step front, right? So a lot of people, simply by not understanding how to transfer your weight from side to side, your top rod tends to look pretty awkward and not as natural and dope as it could. So first drill, I really want you to just get comfortable with side, front, side, back. And just get comfortable leaning with it, yeah? If you understand how to lean with it, then all you gotta do is you do a two step front and rather than doing basic weight in center, I want you to actually lean all the way into that front foot. So you're gonna go kick, sink into that front foot. That way it's gonna feel grounded, it's gonna feel fresh, and it's gonna look a lot more nice than just this robot-ish that we're not gonna do anymore because it's 2019 and it's time for us to have dope top rock, y'all. So, leaning into it, leaning into it. Same thing. Let's say you're gonna do the opposite. You're not gonna lean into it. You can also go back into it. Boom, boom, right? If I just simply lean backwards now and go up onto my toe, completely different step, right? Now what if I'm gonna lean to the side? Boom, boom, boom. Now, suddenly I just made another step, right? So literally by just playing, with leaning my weight in different directions, I get a way more stylized step. Same with if we're gonna go backwards now. Going back with it, now lean into that foot. So rather than this, staying solid, I want you to lean back with it. Boom, really feel the ground on each step. Hit, and hit, and hit. Same with if we're gonna go side, side. Leaning to the side now. I can go on top of my foot. And I'll say if I'm going to lean front, so rather than going back with it, I go up, 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 right? Simply by, again, applying this. Same with when you do a crossover step, right? A lot of people like to stay up here, do whatever, being lazy, I get it. Nobody's got time for that. But today, we do because you're here. So when you go into it, sit down onto that front foot. Weight transfer, hit. Right? It's gonna make, boom, boom, your step look way more fresh. And again, you can apply all the four concepts to that. Same with your side step. Rather than just here, staying robot, lean into it. Transfer your weight by literally feeling the ground. Step into it. And as well, you can go inside, outside, front, front, back, back. Your choice, you decide, it's your style step. All I'm saying is play with the weight transfers for your top rock because that's the number one thing I see a lot of people missing out on when they do top rock and they're like, why am I losing my top rock around? I'm like, dog, you're here the whole time. Like your, your weight is always centered. Play with all the directions your weight can go in because when you're doing that, it adds so much more flavor to it. Easiest way to stylize a top rock, number one, weight transfers. Number two, right from your weight transfers, you have your levels. Another huge one. Again, as I said, people like to stay here. They like to be lazy with the top rock. We do all these crazy moves, but with top rock, we get lazy with it. So, actually bend your legs. I know it's difficult to hold a squat. We're breakers, 
we want it to come natural, whatever it is, is, but just, bro, just, just bend your legs like a little bit. It's gonna help so much, just like a little bit, you know? Like when you do your top rock, rather than stay here, play with all the way down to here, or medium, or high, or in the middle, right? As if you add these levels, or even jumping, right? You got your air level, you got your stand up level, you've got your medium, and you've got your low. That's four levels to play with, and a lot of people like to just stay with what's good. You know what I'm saying? Lean down, get low with it, especially if you're a taller B boy like I am or B girl. Use that to your advantage. We have all the space to play with. Same when we're going back, right? Here, get low with it, get low with it, or go up, up, or hit with a groove in it and stay in that medium pace. Playing with all of this is huge. So if you want to, don't understand your basic bounce, right? I've got how to add hip hop groove or this old school of, uh, street freestyle into breaking. If you haven't seen that, watch that because in that I break down how to do your basic bounce and for level stuff, it's so important to understand that basic low groove because if you can do that, your top rock dog is gonna suddenly transform from this into something that actually has character and flavor in it. Same with your basic crossover, as I said. Rather than just here, play with going low with it, right? Up here, jump with it, down to the ground. There's so much that can be done if we simply play with bending and raising. Bending and raising. Hit basic and low. And up. And a jump, right? So much that can be done. Mess with it. Levels. Number three, three boy. Grooves. Of course. How are you gonna try and stylize your top rock when all you understand how to do is be a robot dog? Go take a grooving class, take a house class, take grooving fundamentals, take old school street, take doesn't matter, bro, any style. If it, if it teaches you different grooves and body mechanics, it's gonna help you so much. And not just grooves, but isolations too. When I took like a year or two of actual grooving and understanding your basic grooves and also your isolations, how to move my neck, my shoulders, everything, it helps so much. If you guys want a tutorial on a, like an in-depth look at grooving and isolations in breaking, in your talk rock, then let me know, comment below. I can definitely make that happen for you. But to simply start it off, mess with, again, your basic bounce group, or up, or housing, right? Even waving with your top rock, grooving, right? Or salsa, Latin flavor, right? Like there's so much. And I use this so much, like I'm not even gonna stress, guys, because I am gonna stress, because I'm a hypocrite like that, that I literally use so many random grooves in my talk rock when I'm vibing with it, because it adds so much in. That's the dope part about breaking and talk rock, and that people tend to overlook a lot, is that we think talk rock is just our up rock. It's just this, right? No. <laughs> Yes, I mean, yes, traditionally it is, but in 2019, it is so not. And that's the fun thing is that we have our base, which is our upper rock, right? Now, play with it. Add all these different flavors and styles in. Rather than just doing this basic, add a bounce to it. Add your hips into it. Same with front, right? Add some waves, dog. Stylize it. Add housing into it. You know what I mean? There's so many options to play with. And when you start to do this and really play with it, it starts to make your top rock look so much more fresh. That's why a lot of people be like, oh, how do you make your top rock look good? I'm like, I don't personally think I have dope top rock. I just think that I've allowed myself to actually bring in different styles to where my top rock looks better because it doesn't look like base top rock. You know what I mean? Because so many people think top rock is just like this. But what about everything that's happening from here to here? What about everything in here, in your body, your hips, 
in your legs that can be moving while you do point A to point B. You know what I mean? Really mess with that, guys. As I said, take a grooving class or go watch, I have a couple videos on how to add grooves into a talk about my hip hop, house, etc. Or if you want an in depth look, in my opinion, then again, comment below and I'll see what I can do for you guys. Grooves. Number four, I want to add this into its own category because I feel like when we start looking into stylizing our top rock, we always will look into the grooves, right? We'll look into the weight transfers. We'll look into the levels. What's one thing we tend to overlook? And in my opinion, that's the actual pivoting of your body. So I really want to play with you guys today with explaining pivoting. So pivoting is literally turning your body in a direction and another direction. So you can isolate that like I'm doing right now, which is your hips, or you can do your full body, right? But usually if you do our full body, we're just turning. So when you pivot, usually it's just turning a part of your body, right? It's slightly isolated. Now when we do that, so for instance with a step like this, you guys will see me do back steps all the time. But if you notice, a lot of the time I will add a hip pivot into it, yeah? So really just go to here and then turn, pivot your legs one direction, other direction, and literally go as far as you can. Boom, hit, hit, on your toes, turn around, same with your upper body, pivot side to side. Because then when we start doing that, if we add a basic step with a two step, and then we pivot, let's say I'm gonna pivot when I come back, boom. It suddenly adds this whole style into it, when literally all I'm doing is twisting my hips. I'm keeping my chest facing you, but my legs are turning away from you, right? And then suddenly I have this step that looks a lot different than this, you know what I mean? And it's like, oh, there's something about that, but in the moment, people don't really know what it is, but you've actually broken it down and trained it that way. Same with like a two step back, as I said. Pivot, hit, boom, hit, boom, hit. I love pivoting. <laughs> Pivot! Pivot! Because when you're pivoting, it just adds so much. Literally by just learning how to twist your hips. That's all you gotta do. It's not this complex idea or mythology. It's literally just twisting your hips in a direction. Same with like, for instance here. If I add a little pivot in, boom, hit. Something in all the styles. So I go boom and boom, pop, pop. Boom and boom, pop, pop. Hit and hit and. But a little pivot, that's all I'm adding in, right? Same with a side step, basic. But what if I go hit? Suddenly, it's not that basic. Boom. Or what if I keep this basic, but I use upper body? Boom. Hit. Zoom. Boom. There's just so many options you can do with it. So number four, pivots. Number five. Probably the number one one that is like the bane to my existence, and that's hand styles. Reason being, <coughs> excuse me, sickness, um, is that growing up, it was so hard for me to use my arms. Because I realized if you're an anxious person, and you're kind of shy, and you've got a lot of nerves going on, we tend to concave our bodies in more. And we don't use our arms much, because we're always kind of, you know, like chilling, right? Because when, you're, when you're, you've got all that nerves, you want to protect it. So you're in this protected state, you're not very vulnerable. And as you learn how to become more vulnerable and open and confident with yourself, you open your chest up because our chest is where our heart is. So it's natural that when we're in a state of fear that we cover it up, we hide it, right? So then as we get more confident and more vulnerable, we tend to open our chest up more and we use more of our arms and we get more comfortable with these kind of motions. But when we don't, we're very robot, protected, right? So growing up, I was running a lot of those anxieties and nerves and stress. So I tended to not use my arms as much, right? But as I got older and older and older, I realized my top arm was fucking stupid because I'd use like only one arm. <laughs> or I'd like, you know, like it's just, it was weird because my stuff would just, it wouldn't vibe the same way. But as I learned all these different arm styles and ways to use our hands, I was like, yo, there's a whole realm of stuff that we can do with our arms that's gonna make our top rock look way more sick. So I'm gonna show you guys like a couple base ones. Um, and then from there, just develop it as you choose. Firstly, literally play. If you see my how to make your top rock natural, you'll understand this and you'll remember this, but like just throw your arms around. I'm not even kidding you. 
get yourself out of your body, out of your nerves, out of your anxiety, and just like literally train different angles. Throwing your arms like here, here, because you've got to get comfortable being weird first. Once you get comfortable being weird, then you can kind of stylize it and bring it back to like a more of a natural medium that you feel more comfortable and confident with. But when you're in your room by yourself, whatever, train going all over the place. Then, once you're comfortable with that, what I want you to do is get your base ones down. So we got our visors, right? Our breaking visors. That's number one. Easy, confident. Then we make little plates for our visors. Boom, boom, under our elbow, right? Easy. Then we got our thinking man. Yeah? Boom, boom. What's up? What's up? What's up? Then we got our chicken arms. Hit, hit, hit. One and boom. One and two. Hit, boom, hit, boom, right? Boom. And then add a circle in if you want. Disco style it. Boom, and pop, and hit. Then, double visor maybe. Now once you're comfortable kind of hitting those basic ones, what you can do is you can start to actually mess around with adding like waves in. You know what I mean? And adding like throws, grabs, tosses, hits. Then you can do your belt stuff for your rocking, right? Boom, pop, 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 hit. Hit, 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 boom. Then, if you've seen like Wiggles 52 hand style stuff, you can start messing with this stuff. Right? Boom, ha, hit, 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 handcuff. So, there's so many options of stuff that you can do when you start to mess around with it. So, literally get comfortable with like the first basic ones is honestly, again, throwing wherever because you can get lost in the complexities of like a bajillion moves. So start with just throwing around, yeah? Then, I would do your throws. Grab, throw, grab, throw, grab, double, one, hand, other, pan. Go up, go low, go up, one your leg, go hit, here. That's a really good way to just grab the energy, toss it out, boom. And it looks nice and it's clean, yeah? Once you're comfortable with that, again, risers, chicken, Hit, chicken, chicken, thinking man, adding those three in, yeah? Then, once you're comfortable there, then start to get into kind of like waves, isolations with it, you can go over your hat, like there's just so many options. And a really good way to mess with this is honestly messing with it. Like I know it sounds cliche, but I'll literally stand in the mirror and be like, what can I do here, and here, and here, and here, and messing with stuff, and also, <coughs> what really helped me was modeling actually helped me too because it got me to that idea of like posing a lot or like honestly set up your phone to taking like a hundred like a picture every like five seconds or whatever I'm sure there's an app for it or your camera and just try going like hit pose 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 and just like mess around with shapes and then when you're breaking boom boom Boom, boom, hit, 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 hit. You can really start to mess with those to degrees where you start to create this whole style for yourself. Hand styles. All right, y'all. I hope this helped. You guys get a little taste of stylizing your top rug. I've done tutorials like this in the past, but I wanted one that's 2019 updated, you know, to my standard, because my old stuff is, is dope, but I don't dig it because it's not, 2019, oh, we got an update on this ish, boy. So as always, don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Like the video, subscribe, smash the button for more videos. And I'll see you guys, hopefully not as sick, in the next one. Peace. Before you go, if you're not completely sick of my face already, don't forget to get my free course, Breaking Made Simple. To access the course, all you have to do is go to the link down below. To get the free download, all you have to do is join the Facebook group, Breaking Made Simple, which is a hub for people to learn, grow, and just get better and become the best b-boys they possibly can, man.